And welcome to your bull market update and charts of the day. It's Monday, the 13th of November, 2023. Mike Smith saying, Alistair, go markets here to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's look across the news. US equities saw another strong session on Friday. We had that little blip on Thursday to breach a eight-day winning streak on the S&P 500, but normal service was resumed. We saw big gains, particularly on the Nasdaq as we ended the week positively. Major driver for this is that earnings continue to perform well. We're nearing the end of Q3 reporting season with 92% of the S&P 500 reported so far. A staggeringly impressive 81% beating expected EPS and 61% beating revenue expectations. This week, Biden and President Xi from China will be meeting. That will be watched, although expectations are low. And the US CPI number is the data headline of the week. US futures are mildly lower in Asian trading. Asian markets are generally following that US lead. Though we are seeing the ASX down around 0.1% at this stage. The Chinese markets have struggled also to make any significant gains, but we shall see what happens over the course of the day. Wouldn't be surprised to see a little caution in light of what's happening tomorrow. The VIX paused after a recent drop down. European futures should help market sentiment with a positive open expected this afternoon. US dollar index continues to be range bound. We saw a bounce last week, just a little bit of a pullback on Friday. Gold continues to drop off its near monthly lows and copper also had a weaker end on Friday to what was a low week. All bounced off mid-July levels, but looks precarious this morning in Asia. Uh, one of the major stories over the last month has been the resurgence of cryptos bitcoin is seeing continued buying pressure and may take the price to 40,000 we're at 37 at the moment of course the end of earnings season middle east and the us cpi tomorrow could be the major stories this week not much going on today we had some japanese ppi out already that was weaker than expected and eurozone growth forecast uh due later perhaps as i've already intimated eyes might be on tomorrow's cpi number couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, we're keeping a close eye on the Swiss Yen. Put a four hour chart here. You can see that we last hit this level of 168.20 back on the 19th of October. Uh, so we're seeing a month later a retest of that level. We're looking at this R1 pivot at 168.26 to be a potential long trade option. Uh, about 50 pips to the upside to the R2 level. Be interesting to see if we get follow through. The yen is a little weaker today on the back of that weak PEI data, and that could be one of the catalysts for this move higher. On stocks, we're liking the look of Megaport Limited. You can see we gap down subsequent to a poor report, but that bounced fairly significantly off that 200 MA. And we're now sort of moving back up towards what I think is a key level around about this 1077. There's possibly around about a dollar twenty upside to retest twelve dollars if we should breach that. So just keep an eye on this over the next couple of days. We think this could be interesting. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.